Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Battling with being apart from family, as you can see, here I am in sunny Spain again. Um, but I've been away for about four to six weeks before I got back. I'm here for a week. Um, then I'm back in the UK and I've got issues with projects basically where I'm not getting enough vision of how long they're running, when they start, when they finish to actually schedule my flights back to Spain because I could be in Aberdeen um, and my flight's in Birmingham the same day and basically I just can't get back in time to take the flight. Uh, company basically couldn't give a whatever um, but at the same time I'm starting to get more militant on that side because uh, my flexibility is normally pretty good um, but it's a, I always see things as a two-way street if it starts becoming one way I become the complete one way only um, which is basically just contract only but anyway so being apart from family it's been quite difficult lately um because you're starting to see the kids are missing you more uh well i'm starting to see the kids are missing me more um also april's finding it a bit more difficult uh being out here on our own uh we have friends and everything out here but um it's it's sort of getting to that point where you, you're questioning should you be um at home or should you be bringing the money in? Um, and right now, I'm just on the line, uh, which you'll probably see in the next videos. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you're in a similar situation for as I am, I understand completely. Um, and it's something you've got to consider. Uh, um, is the long term is the long-term solution um, worth the short-term pain? Um, currently, I'm questioning that because uh, quite simply, I look at Spain, this is where I want to be. And um, while I'm in the UK, I'm not building business here. Um, if I'm here full time, like the Philippines, I know I could build business within months. Uh, the housing market's now starting to move. There's construction going on all over the place, which tells me um, even if I started up a real estate agency, I could I could survive here. See, the thing you you, you heard me there, survive, um, because I don't look at things the way a lot of other people do. Um, in the fact is, I see life as life. So if I'm going to take 10 years to get to X, that 10 years is gone, which is why I'm sitting here pondering, should I just call it a day in the UK and just start in Spain? Because being with the family is the most important thing. And that's what I'm considering at the moment. At the same time, when I'm in the UK, I just miss the family all the time. And I know when I'm in the UK, the kids and my wife are missing me. So it's got to that point where I have to make a decision. All right, thanks for watching.